But we have to invest in the things of the Spirit. That when temptation comes, you can overcome them and walk in victory. One of the challenges with me, when people not praying, not fasting, not spending time in the Word, not fellowshipping with, with, with believers. And when you see them, you ask, how are you? I'm blessed, highly favored of God, anointed and chosen. And in my mind, I say a lie. Not in my mouth, though, I say bless you. But in, in my mind, I say a lie. You know why? Because I am fasting, praying, reading, seeking. And it's a battle upon road for me. Hello? It's war like Rambo every day is a battle. And if I have to do all that and still fighting, and you not, and you're blessed, you lie. Don't be deceived. It's not possible. It's the same flesh. We have to understand the simplest of principles. Whatever we sow towards, expect a harvest. God is not unrighteous. If you go hard after him and the things of God, he will bless you. If you deny yourself and do things in secret and help and go consistently, not haphazard. You can't have an engine. My little two-stroke engine, like a 15 behind my boat and Javier, when I go so, hmm, choke, brum, yeah, brum, 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 brum. I say, yes, I. I don't want to hear brum. The boop can't get me nowhere. I feel because the engine needs to keep turning to get me. When I go out, I come back in. We must be consistent. It can't be, boy, that's a good sermon. I just start reading the Bible for a week. And then I slip right. Brrrm. The wheel rocker can't cut. Brrrm. In need for consistently rotate. We can't be diligent in the things of God for a week because I'm good sermon. And I expect that God, God I pray for the whole week. We're my blessing. That like when I go to the gym for one day and jump on the scale and want to see big results. It just don't work like that. There is a lie that Satan tells us. An expectation that we hold to be true. Because of what Jesus did on that cross, we are entitled to a great harvest and we don't have to put in anything. Hello? Let me, let me, let me wrap up. I, 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 this little word and how it hit my spirit, I, can, I just say, God, I go keep sowing. I go keep, because sometimes you sow into the spirit, you look stupid. I remember when I was in the market, craft market, and I was walking out every Tuesday to go Bible study, Monday and Tuesday. Monday was Pastor Barnes, Bible study. Monday, Bible. Every, so imagine, I'm a tailor at the time, brr, sewing. When he knocked five o'clock, I said, boy, I'm going to lock up my shop. Go Bible study Tuesday, but Monday by me, Tuesday by, by Pastor Barnes, Wednesday at church. So every week, Brother Graham, I have to lock my shop early. When I'm walking through the hallway, all the other tailors in there, brr, brr, brr. I may hear the voice of the enemy say, You're a fool. You're a clown. You're not going to never have nothing. How are you going to have anything? And every day you left early and left everybody in here a soul. But what I didn't know, I was sowing into the spirit. Even though my lock off my sewing machine, I was going to sow in the things of God. And I watched God over time work.